that was easy. Oh, I have control over the situation, even though I didn't know that I had control over the situation, but I still have control over the situation, so that means that if I change my mind, I can change the situation. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine, and I'm here to help you guys manifest your specific person effortlessly. So, this video is about how to recreate your specific person so that you can manifest them faster. Because if nothing is happening for you in your manifesting, that means that you're more concerned and occupied with objective circumstances that you believe are out there than you are with the circumstances that you're creating within. So, we're going to figure out how to turn that around and make that work for you so that you can actually manifest this thing and do it faster. So again, if nothing is changing within your reality, that means that you're believing more in circumstances than you are in your vision. By the way, make sure that you stick around until the end of the video to make sure that you actually get all the tips so that you can apply it, so that you can do it faster, easier, and effortlessly. Plus, I have my playlist that I'm gonna give to you guys at the end of the video, and that's gonna help you guys create that reinforcement that you need to keep your manifestation flowing and going. All right, so it's really simple. This is like the heart of, of it all right here. The whole thing about manifesting your specific person is you have to change your mind about them. So obviously, if you're not with them, it means that you're believing in a version of them and a version of you and the version of the two of you together that is not together. You're believing that it's more likely that you're not gonna be with them. That's what you're manifesting, that's what you're believing in. Your manifestation will always reveal your deepest, darkest expectations. What you believe most dominantly is always gonna be what you're gonna get. So changing the way that you think and believe about your specific person, it can take a matter of weeks or months. It, it just depends. It depends on how solid that you think that reality is. Because again, the whole house of cards is just built on the ideas that you think are real. So whatever it is that you think is immovable, that's gonna be immovable. Whatever it is that you think is objective and real within them is going to be objective and real within them. But let me stress this with you, okay? Listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. Every person is an animation of you. So what you believe about them, what you believe about reality in general. Now let me explain what I mean by those two distinctions. Okay, so reality in general. So if in general you believe that men are hard to come by or that men don't really like relationships or that they're non-committal, if you believe that in general, you're probably going to manifest that in a specific person, especially if you want to be with them. It's like, well, wait. You believe that most men don't like commitment, so you're gonna attract someone and they're gonna show you your most dominant belief. Or we have these associations and assumptions that we make about people, okay, based on our instant assumptions that we have when we see someone. So when you see someone, your judgments about them manifest in the relationship. So if you think, oh man, he's the kind of guy that's not gonna want a relationship, guess what? That's how he's gonna be for you. But that's an assumption that you created to begin with. You see, everything you create, you created this person to begin with. You're already creating them. You already created them. Before you met them, you created them with your beliefs, your ideas, your assumptions. After you met them, you made your assumptions and they continued to be true. The only thing that you ever have to do is to change your assumptions that you're already having about them, your assumptions, your expectations, your associations. If what you truly believe and expect about this person changes, your relationship with them is gonna change to reflect that. The base the basis for recreating the person that you want to have a relationship with is number one, understanding everything is malleable, everything is moldable, and you're already manifesting everything as a reflection of what you're already thinking, believing, expecting, and assuming. You're already doing it. You're not trying to change anything. You're just being more aware of whatever your thoughts are, and then the reality reflects that. It can really be a hurdle for you when you believe that you're trying to change something out there. You're not trying to change something anywhere. You're not, there is no out there. There's only in here, here and here, feeling and believing. There's only in here and then it's outwardly reflected. So every person is an animation of you. Every person is a hologram of you. Every person is your reflection, your mirror. Everything that you believe and expect and the associations and assumptions that you have about people manifest. All you ever have to do is change the way 
that you assume them to be and then they change. Now, like I said, this can take months. If you think that they are a specific way, it can take months for you to convince yourself otherwise. It doesn't have to take that long. So things that you can do to speed this up and make this go faster for you is reminding yourself that you're already manifesting everything, that you, you already manifested the relationship based on your assumptions and beliefs that you had. Now, it really helps if you do some work and you dig inside and you become a little bit aware of some negative beliefs that you had that manifested them in this particular way to begin with. With. Then you can say, oh my god, like I commanded them to be this way. I told them to be this way because I believed it in my mind and they followed suit and they obeyed my thoughts and they did it. They reflected my deepest beliefs. So then you can you can realize that, oh, I have control over the situation even though I didn't know that I had control over the situation, but I still have control over the situation. So that means that if I change my mind, I can change the situation. It really helps when you can get to that point where you do understand that you already created it and you're all you're creating the whole thing all the way through, all the way around. It's all your creation. You already did it and you're not trying to change anything except your thoughts, right? Okay, so there's no objective reality. There's no objective person. That's why everything is subject to change and the only constant is change and people do change all the time and circumstances, like everything changes because your thoughts change. But if you say, oh man, this glass of water is dirty. It's, this is dirty. <laughs> and you only ever think that it's going to be dirty and you're upset about that and that's what you're focused on. It's never going to occur to you to put it in the goddamn dishwasher. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if I could say to myself, well, you know what? I'm just going to put that in the dishwasher and that'll be clean then I'll get what I want. I'm just gonna put that in the dishwasher and then I'll take care of that. Now I'm thinking about and I'm seeing in my mind a clean glass. I'm not worried about it. I already see the end, the fully fledged out manifested result that I want. That's what I want you to do with this person. However they showed up, you told them to be that way. That's the only reason why they're that way. No matter what is going on with you, the fastest way to get to the end result is always gonna be this right here, you ready? No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, the fastest way is always to capture the end result, okay? So if you haven't already, review video one in my playlist, all right? I'm gonna give you guys a link up here somewhere or at the end of the video, there's gonna be a link to my playlist. I also have a link in the description below. Video number one, is the steps one through five process on how exactly to manifest. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit right here. You want to be able to see the end result with some sort of snapshot or picture that represents the fully fledged out manifested result to you. So like, what do you want to happen? What person do you want them to be? I want you to have a very clear picture that represents that fully fledged out manifested result in your mind. You also want to feel it. Okay, so what does that reality where they act that way, what does that feel like to you? Like what is the, the experiential evidence that they are that person? Not just the words that they're saying, not just the actions that they're doing, but how is that actually gonna make you feel? How are you gonna respond to that? I want you to feel into your response of that experience. And when you experience that emotionally and in the whole of your being, you're in that reality and you're pulling that reality to you and you're making it more and more believable. And when it's believable and logical to you, when that reality that you want to manifest is believable and logical to you, when it seems like, oh yeah, I can see, yeah, that's, that's the way it's gonna happen. It's gonna be fine, it's the next logical step. Of course, of course they're gonna come back to me because they always do, they always did, or why wouldn't they, or whatever. When you're doing this correctly, the universe will help you make it logical. They will give you reasons why it will happen. The universe will help you fuel the story. And that's really important because again, it has to be logical and believable to you. So if it feels like something so exuberant and extreme static and out of this world that you're just so excited and you want to cry, that is not what you want to feel about this. Because when something is normal and logical in your world, you don't feel like you want to cry. You don't feel like, oh my god, 
it's so amazing. I can't believe this happened. That's not how you want to feel. That is how you feel when something is out of your league, okay? So if you're feeling super uber excited about this person, you're thinking about them as out of your league and that's why they continue to be out of your league. And I don't care if you comment and say, oh, I don't think that they're out of my league. If you get super excited, first of all, if you're not manifesting them, and then if you get super excited like you just won the lottery about them coming back, that means that you're putting them way, way too much importance on the matter. It needs to be way more normal okay normal things manifest very easily so you need to put them on the same playing field as like water drinking water out of a dirty glass okay <laughs> or like breathing or like driving to work or something like that needs to be totally normal totally oh yeah that's everyday normal routine stuff it needs to feel as normal as possible to you the fastest way to get there is to get to the fully fledged out manifested result in your mind. What do they look like? What do they feel like? What are they doing? What are they saying? What's the experience feel like to you? You want the whole experiential reality and all of the details and you want to experience that. And you want to experience that in a way that makes it feel very normal and logical to you. And then the universe is going to help you come up with like a storyline that makes that all make sense, okay? So you want to work on this for however long that it takes you. You know, like at first you might not be able to do this. And then in that case, you need to remind yourself, keep watching these sort of videos that teach you about how everything is just your reflection, your holographic mirror, um, and how you're creating it all. And then you want to see the experiential evidence in the world that like you're creating things. That's why awareness is really important because if you're unaware, then you're not creating deliberately and then you never figure out how it really works. So raise your awareness, try to see like, you know, try to manifest some things on purpose, even if it's stupid, like a pink button just to prove to yourself that you're doing this and then you'll see that like hmm well if I manifested a pink button then that means that this is true. Keep surrounding yourself with the material that reminds you that the world is malleable and flexible. You need to really know this and believe this and practice it in order to make it work for you with bigger things because the truth is nothing is big or small. No manifestation is big or small. They're all the same. They're all equally attainable. Okay. Every manifestation is equally attainable and it all follows the same rules. There's no different rules for like this thing that we call soulmates, twin flames. It's not, there's nothing different. Okay, there's nothing fated or destined or not fated or not destined. It's all 100% the same law of attraction that is you create your own reality, you manifest it all. You are manifesting the stars in the sky and the weather outside. You're manifesting every person, you're manifesting me right now. You're manifesting the way that you feel about me right now and you're manifesting the way that you feel about your specific person and you're manifesting the way that they feel about you right now. Which means they don't exist apart from being an animation of you. So you may as well create a fabulous picture about whatever it is that you want them to do and then start believing it and just experiment with it. You know, really you could think of it like an experiment. Have what it is that you want them to do in your mind and just play with it. And when it's really, really believable to you, when it's it's normal and natural and when you really know that it's gonna happen, you won't feel the need to think about it anymore. So here's a little rule to follow is that when you can have fun with playing and experimenting with creating this reality, when you're just having fun with it, when it feels really good in your mind to, to think about them and to imagine this happening and imagine that reality, when it makes you feel good, good, do it. Play and return there and play and feel good about it. When you can't get there and it doesn't feel good and you're just kind of struggling and trying, don't ever, ever, ever try, okay? Because effortlessness is what manifests things and it manifests really fast, okay? So easy, effortless, fast, simple. That's what you want. If it doesn't feel fast, simple, and easy, don't do it at all. Drop it. Think about something else. Do something else. Do something fun. Take a nap. Do something that is going to make you feel good. It doesn't really matter. Go along your merry way. Don't return to it until you can return to the subject in a way that it's actually working for you and making you feel good and that you're having a fun, positive time with it. If you got anything positive out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe below. Look, I'm not new at this, but I'm a brand new channel, so if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button. Please share. I also have my playlist around here somewhere so that if you're new to my channel, you can check out all of my videos and manifest your specific person faster. That was easy.